The plan for the CBA really is to see if we can identify the leak. Um, after the CBA, we, we probably will have run out of uh, uh, ammonia uh, in the system to the point where we probably couldn't reliably expect to be able to ID the leak. So we're taking this opportunity to try to find the leak. If we miss it, then we'll uh, the likely plan of action after that is just to have the crew uh, call an EVA. We'll, uh, we'll let Tom uh, uh, go ahead and go home. We'll wait for the next crew to come out and we'll devise a more uh, thorough uh, plan for uh, trying to identify the anomaly. Again, we're going to change out, the plan is to change out the pump on this. It doesn't save you a whole lot, uh, but once you shut the pump down, uh, we think we could, have saved, we could have slowed the leak a little bit. Uh, and saved us a bit more time, but I'm talking, you know, a handful of hours perhaps. So it wasn't a dramatic saving, but uh, we're trying to gain every bit of extra time we can get to get the crew outside and hope still, act, you know, being able to spot uh, the location of the leak itself. The, the system is shut down and it's in a passive state. So at this point, it just leaks ammonia to the, and it'll just keep leaking. Uh, it'll take many, many, many days to completely leak out of all the ammonia. But once you get the ammonia in a, in a kind of a two-phase state or even just a vapor state over time, uh, you can't really run it. So you reach a point uh, in the system uh, accumulator where once we get to a certain level of the accumulator, 4% is what we use, then the, the system will shut itself down. Uh, and that's, that's the point at where we, we want to make sure the pump is off because at that point you'll cavitate the pump and per potentially damage it. So that's already been done though. So from a protect the pump standpoint, we're in a, in a safe condition for the pump and, and it can stay like this uh, indefinitely. We've got many more ideas up our sleeves. Um, it's, uh, y y y we're trying to postulate what the leak source is. Uh, typically, it's moving parts that eventually fail or you get an MMOD strike. Uh, a lot of the lines are buried underneath the IEA, so it's hard to believe we have an MMOD strike. Uh, but we do have been discussing for years and have uh, components uh, available for actually repairing hoses, uh, tubes, if they in fact have MMOD damage. And we have a very creative team, so um, we, we've got a lot of opportunities to recover this system if it's not the pump itself.